the Discarty Registry is an academic national registry for county cells in uh, leukemia, lymphoma and myeloma. Uh, it comprises all patients uh, outside the clinical trial who is uh, about to receive CAR T cells if the CAR T cell project is validated by a, a multidisciplinary meeting. The um, primary outcome of our study is the overall survival because uh, for us it's the, the most um, clinically relevant outcome for this population of patients uh, relapsing or er, experiencing early relapse after ID cell therapy. Uh, so the, result, the results regarding our primary uh, endpoints show that patients who relapse early after ID cell have uh, a shorter response to subsequent therapy following the relapse and that uh, maybe the, uh, even the B-specific antibodies, which are, which are you know, the novel uh, th therapies today, uh, maybe the anti-BCMA, B-specific antibodies, don't uh, improve the prognosis regarding overall survival or progression-free survival for these uh, early relapser patients after ID cell. These uh, results mean that for patients experiencing early relapse, because our cohort is mainly patients with early relapse, with a medium uh, of a, a medium uh, uh, progression-free survival following the infusion of ID cell of less of six months, uh, with half of patients relapsing less than six months following the ID cell infusion, then it means that for those patients with early relapse, the retreatment with um, uh, other anti-BCMA uh, therapy or other classical anti-myeloma drugs will don't seem to improve the prognosis, uh, but maybe it retreated them with um, anti-GPRC5D or other immune uh, targets may change something because these patients don't seem to respond to BCMA-directed therapies. I think the main thing is that we need to develop tools, not m so many new uh, therapeutics against PCMA, but tools to uh, identify, identify patients who will respond and patients who will not respond to BCMA-directed therapy so that we don't, uh, um, we don't put patients with uh, uh, CAR T cell, the specific antibodies, uh, all the, those kind of uh, immune therapies if these patients don't respond to anti-BCMA therapy. Well, there, there, it seems that there is a right, wide range of explanations for um, patients responding, not responding. The expression of BCMA for anti-BCMA CAR T cells, uh, maybe also being an, at uh, after many different lines of treatment, having a very tired immune system means that maybe your response will not be the best and um, also yes all the, the, the treatments you received the kind of treatment you received before the CAR T cells and also um, inflammation uh, these these are factors that seem to impact the response to the CAR T cells Well, uh, at that point, we have a very short um, PFS. We have patients with a short PFS following ID cell. So I hope that with a longer follow-up, we will be able to include patients who, who will be long responder to anti-BCMA CAR T cell. And maybe these patients can respond to uh, a second anti-BCMA directed CAR T cells, maybe like the specific antibodies, maybe another CAR T cell, or maybe these patients also need to change targets. 